Jerry. What's going on, man? Chilling. Fight next week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, isn't this Corey like fifth or sixth undefeated fighter? Yeah, yeah like a sixth undefeated fighter. Y'all just don't give a fuck. Huh? Hey, man. You know, you got to go out there and uh, prove yourself. You know, this boxing game, they try to say it's watered down and nobody want to fight anybody. Come over to death row. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we hop in there with anybody. I mean, he's proving himself. Uh, he jumped in there with some of the best fighters in the world, best young prospects. Um, this is another step, another step forward to uh, getting where you want to be. All right, so if somebody's never seen Corey before, what can you tell them about him? I'm sorry, James Martin. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. Specific. Yeah. James <laughs> is his first name, Corey is his middle name, but, uh, you know, people who know him call him Corey. Um, but, yeah, just a, just an exciting fighter coming forward, moving his head, great boxing IQ, uh, very knowledgeable of the ring, and he brings excitement because he always throwing punches. He's one of them fighters that's going to keep coming, keep throwing, and no matter what, he's going to fight to the end. He showed that against Joey Spencer, he showed that against Vito Milnicki, and he also showed it against Xander Zayas. Three tough names. Um, you know, that's what he brings. Have you done your homework on these opponents? No, I didn't. Um, I mean, everybody knew who Xander was, everybody knew who Vito was, Vito was and everybody knew who uh, Joey Spencer was. This kid, uh, Rowdy Lolo, there's not much you could know about him. He only got six fights, I think he's six and over, like five knockouts. Um, not really known, not no big amateur background. So there's not really much you can know about him. Those guys like that who are blue chip prospects got a lot more you can, uh, you know, look at. Okay. What kind of Corey can we expect April 7th? Same guy, even hungrier, you know. He feel like it's his time and so he has some setbacks. And, you know, people who seen the fights and know about real boxing know that some of those setbacks weren't really setbacks. They actually pushed him forward and made his name more known because he was able to be seen on national TV, on PBC, on ESPN, you know. So he got more known even yeah, through shit, the he loss. Fought, what, Corey, Corey's fought on Fox twice? Fox twice, ESPN. Yeah. You know, he fought on the uh, Valdez Burchell undercard that was on ESPN. Mm. Um, like I said, so even in those losses, some losses that he may have taken, which we all know wasn't really losses. But, um, you know, it got his name out there. It got him seen. You know, so expect expect explosion. Expect an explosive fight. Um, two fighters that come forward, from what I understand, about this other kid, come forward, throw a lot of punches. So expect explosion. Expect a good fight.